And so it has come to this, guys. The final episode in our Divide and Conquer playthrough as Isengard. Now, we will play a few battles. We'll play a few things. I mean, ideally, I would like to destroy Gondor. That is the main aim for this uh, episode. Um, and I think we can do it pretty quickly. I think we can do it pretty quickly, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's the main aim for this episode. And we can say we've destroyed Gondor as Isengard, which is pretty nice. They might have this area. It looks potentially like on the minimap. If we have a look. Or is that just... No, that's just Fanwilond. That's just that line there for Fanwilond. Um, but our nation spans from Mirkwood, southern Mirkwood... Well, let's uh, just do that. Get rid of Dale. Sack it. And build the shrine to Melkor, of course. Can already retrain a few of the boys. Um, all the way from southern Mirkwood. Down to the Gulf of the Anduin. Pretty much exclusively on this side of the Anduin, we are the masters of Middle-earth. Central position, taking control of nearly everything. Even Kazadoom, we have taken Kazadoom, Isengard. We are we are masters of this area. We are the the true rulers of Middle Earth, really. Now, Enidwyth is strong still. I I've got to admit, Enidwyth might even be, be better than us, um, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think if we fought Enidwife, we'd, we'd win quite handily. I would quite like to get to uh, Goblin Town, though. Oh, hello, uh, Breland. What? What are you doing, Breland, all the way over here? That's nice to see. Honestly, really nice to see. Will they attack, though? And will they bring the garrison down for us to attack it? I, I don't know. It'll be interesting anyway. Um... But yeah, we've had ups and downs. We've had plenty to deal with. We've been attacked pretty much when we took the ring. We were attacked from every single direction, from everyone, both the evil and the good faction. So it's a challenging way to go, taking the, win, uh, the ring as Saruman. But without further ado, guys, let us get into this. Stuart Phylon. Captain Nuraimon is the one outside. So I'm going to do a night attack. So we don't bring those in. Um, I, I think we'll be fine, honestly. Our army's not amazing. But I think we'll be fine. Steward Phylon over there. Who does he have? He does standard general's bodyguard. Do we have cavalry dominance? Yes, we do. So, oh, it's, it should be fine. Let's get into this and bring about Gondor's demise. One more city from one more city. Ah, oh. well, I'm glad we're going to manage to destroy Gondor, or at least destroy Gondor this side of the Anduin. If they have any more on the other side, that's that's fine. They're, they're basically not Gondor at that point, are they? So, I'm happy with that. We have raiders. Oh, we only have one cavalry. That's uh, not ideal. Well, let's get our line nice and wide. Nice and wide. Guard mode on. Through there. Ballista. Get there. Have a berserker on the left side and a berserker on the right. As if we've only got one cavalry unit. That's, that's the biggest disappointment with this army. I think everything else will be fine though. So. Let's, uh, let's move boys. Let's move. They're coming in from behind us so we need to actually go really quickly. I didn't think they would come in from directly behind us. I thought they would come in from the side. So we need to destroy this army really quickly then. Oh, you guys. Get running. This guy here. Cavalry there. Oh, nice. Getting some shots off. Those Lebanon Marines. Kill the Citadel Guard, really. Really don't want to get sandwiched. That's going to be a big problem. 
Let's go then. Bane guard should be do should do some decent damage against these boyos though. And um, we're going to use our berserkers to flank as usual, and the cavalry, of course. Right, you guys now in here. You can. Berserkers, let's go. Get the Nazca in the thick. Our lines are a little bit messed up. One of you. Let's go after the Gondor Spearman. Good. Territorial Guardsman. I think we need to use our Nazkai to really end this quickly. Let's get in the fight. Fire that way. Where's these Berserkers? Just come round. Get in the back of the Lossenek Axemen. They're a really, really good unit. Really going to shred our Urukai Raiders if we're not careful here. Let's go, boys. Good charge. Good charge. Decent charge. So let's uh, really focus on this Citadel Guard. We might lose this, you know. Get uh, the Nazkai through here. Berserkers on this side doing an excellent job. Get the back of those Lossenek Axemen again. If anything, let's try and see whether we can snipe the general with a charge on his left flank. Directly into him, we might kill him. They're getting very close, aren't they? We'll use our, uh, use our boyos to uh, face them off. Uh, let's get back up. More Citadel Guard over here. Where are you, boyos? Fire into there, boys. Let's try get him on the left flank again. He's turned again. Where is the general? The general's there. He's got some blood on him. It's good to see. Kill those Territorial Guardsmen. Come on, catch that general. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is not really the strongest of unit of uh, people I've seen. Fire at them. Fire at them. And our, our crossbows are actually pretty decent as a infantry unit. I know it sounds stupid. But as archery, archery hybrids go, they're a good one. Come on, Berserkers. Got to go for broke, haven't we? Oh, he's, he's just powering through them there. Let's get, the, get in behind those boyos. Uh, crossbows took a bit of damage there. Back into the General's bodyguard. Let's go. Really all depends on whether we can kill this General. Charge didn't do anything. Let's go. Need to hit that left-hand side. Where is he? He's there. So let's come over this way. Get a bit fatter. So that charges a little bit more weight to it. Okay. Seem like we're doing okay. Once we've done this, we'll get this uh, pikeman over there. They're not needed on this side. Let's go. Come on, you lazy wretches. Exactly. Let's charge. I'm pretty sure we'll get a good charge on that left flank. That was a wrong flank. He's facing the other way. So let's get out. Need to kill him. It's going to be really tough to kill him, though. Should have sent an infantry unit to go and hunt him down, really. Yeah, keep fighting, boys. Come on, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be losing against Territorial Guardsmen, for God's sake. Get over here. Where is the general? 
It's right at the back. That's going to make life a lot difficult for us. So let's go after that loss of Nick Axman once again. Uh, if we had like four units of cab, this this uh, this flank would already be over. Back in. Looks more and more likely that we're going to lose here. Well, we've got to go for broke, though. We can kill that general. That's going to be... Yes! Come on! Right. Nazkai, where are you? Oh, we just did it. We just did it. The back of those territorial guardsmen. Surely they're going to break. Come on. Got a break, yep. Now out. The lost Nick Axman. Get those territorial guardsmen as well. Yeah, broken. Good. Broken. Let's get them. Go. Got to break a few of them, hasn't it? Kill those guys. Okay, you've turned around. So, who's over here? Let's go fight those Citadel Guard. God, look how spread out they are. Did we break them? Looks like we did. Oh, General's Bodyguard this side. Fight those guys. You guys go around and flank them. Get into that Gondor Spearman. Actually, no. Come this way. And we'll fight that Citadel Guard. Oof. Whatever's happening here, we're getting shredded. It's probably that cavalry. Into the back of that Citadel Guard. Have you killed this Lossadek Axeman yet? No. Might back out. Fight that Gondor Infantry. Fight that General's Bodyguard. Come on. Come on, Nazkai. Really important that you do some decent damage here. Come on, boyos. Decent charge, that. Really decent. Kill this Gondor infantry. Come on. Also need to kill that general. Oh, we're going to do well against this Citadel's Guard over here, I think. It's a real scramble, though, at the minute. Real scramble. That's just Gondor militia. So let's go and deal with them. Take out their weak units. Over here, I think we've got that Gondor infantry. I think we should beat it. So this General's Bodyguard, we need to go and deal with them as well. So I think we'll go all the way around, doing charges along the way. Just Gondor Militia. Like, we should absolutely shred these boyos. So let's go. Oh, decent. Really decent charge, but their General's still strong enough. That they're not even shaken by that charge. So, let's attack that Territorial Guardsman if we can actually come over here first. I'll kill the Territorial Guardsman. Just letting their cavalry run rampant. Oh, over here is, is just damage. Let's get out. Let's get out. I don't want to take this fight anymore. Come on, General. You need to survive this. If we're going to win. It's tough. Just go. Just get out. Need to kill their other generals. So let's go. Did we charge that territorial guardsman or not? I can't remember. We'll do it again then. I think we did. But. Yeah. 20 men. 20 men is a pretty decent for a charge. There's this general's bodyguard over here. This general's bodyguard is huge. It's like really big. 
Goblin infantry. Sorry, the infantry were beating. Let's just go, general. Just go. I don't want you to die. I think we lose. I think we lose, guys. <laughs> Looks like a loss to me. If we had more cavalry, we would have won this easy. Also, if we can get out of this Gondor militia, we can swing around and fight these guys and hopefully save that flank. So let's get into the back of that general's bodyguard or this one. Where is the general himself? Where is he? Is that him there? Get him. Just hit him. Hit him. Oh. Gondor infantry right behind us. Let's go. Now over here. Kill that Gondor infantry. 17 left. Let's get into that Gondor militia. Only two of them. Should be able to kill them now. Right then. You boys. Straight in the back of their cavalry out this way. Uh, berserkers. Let's get you over there. Oh, it's really going to depend on whether we kill that general or not, which doesn't look likely right now. These guys are fighting well. They're their main hope, really. And these guys are also fighting excellently against such a bigger unit, bigger enemy. In the back of those boys. There's our cavalry. Let's get you over here. So we're winning this flank, definitely. We're not winning over here, though. Are we winning over here? I mean, we're holding with these boys, which is good. I think we'll win here now. With everyone we have. Get in the back of that Citadel Guard again. Citadel Guard are just so strong. Oh, well, it didn't do much, did it? <laughs> There's another General's Bodyguard in there. Hmm... We don't need to kill everyone. We just need to get rid of them all. This is the flank where we're really losing. Over here, I'm happy. I'm happy now. I think we're going to be okay over here. Who's who's wavering? These spearmen. Maybe we can make a mass route. Let's keep going. You guys need to hold. You've hardly lost anyone in a lot of time. In a long time. Charge, proper charge this time, boys. Good. Now out. Okay, that general's bodyguard's shaken. Some tough fighting going on. Really tough. These guys need to just hold the line. Until a time when we can come and uh, get them. Oh, this is, this is close. <laughs> this is so close. It says the balance of power is so in their favor, but... I think we just need to keep charging this. This is the block we need to break. There's two Citadel Guards in there. That's the problem. Citadel Guard are OP. Guys, out now. You're losing. You're going to die. Three Territorial Guardsmen coming like they, they can kill us. Oh, Jesus. Go, just get out. We need you for that Naz uh, Nazgul shriek. Where are you? You're there. Just go. Just go. Just go. Go and join the men. I'll uh, distract them with the cavalry. It's the best use of the cavalry right now. Get in this Gondor infantry. Okay, these guys are now taking damage because they're surrounded. They weren't taking any damage before. These boys. It's just that Citadel Guard is just so strong. Cavalry now out. Now out. You boys. Get there. Cavalry, let's go. Two of you left. Jesus. Good thing is that the spear wall is just so OP. That they are just holding the line. If I'd have had 
If I'd have had two, just two more units of cavalry, I think we would have had this already gone, already soaked up by now. I think what we do is park these guys here, because they frighten nearby enemy, same as the berserkers, and hopefully we'll uh, break the enemy. We also have all our jabbies to fire, so I'm willing to go over here get over there and then fire them into this general's bodyguard just in hope more than anything really where are the berserkers predominantly ideally the berserkers I mean you're fighting gondor infantry so that's fine these guys just need to hold until we can sort this bit out okay a lot of shaken people do you know what I think it's time I think it's time for that we can break this citadel guard. Everything's going to be good. Because I think it will be a mass route after that point. Because they inspire nearby enemies. Nearby uh, troops. Where are you? Fire into that general's bodyguard, please. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, so tough. So tough. Right, now back. Did they fire or not? Still fighting, apparently, so no. Let's get over there. As long as... Yeah. As long as a Glaricor is there, I'm happy. Keep these boyos happy. Rally the boys. It looks like those guys broke and then came back. Oh, this is... This is tight. So tight. So tight. God damn it. <laughs> Get rid of that Citadel Guard. I think the other one goes... Archer, goddamn Archer Militia. Get away from them. Alright, let's speed it up. Don't need it to be this slow now. Get over there, for God's sake. Do not want you dying, Aglaricor. Oh wait, did we, did we get rid of anyone here? Kill that Citadel Guard. Get rid of them. Fire at them. I think this general's bodyguard is the one that the general is dead in, though. That should break them, surely. Get rid of them. What do you mean half? Surely more than half. Like Gondor Spearman's taking a battering. God, what an epic battle to start yeah, the final episode on, anyway. Speed it up. A Glaricor looks like he might die. Get rid of these guys. Come on. God damn. General's bodyguard's in here now. Another general's bodyguard. God damn it, bro. These guys. These guys have held out. How have you done that? I don't know. I still don't think we're going to do it. Kill this goddamn general's bodyguard. Now let's go. I can't... You can't allow you to die. Wait, that's one of their generals, not mine. Oh! Wait. Archer's dead. Archer's gone. That general's bodyguard's gone. Get out! How many times do I have to tell you? Where are you? You're definitely going to die, aren't you? Get rid of them. Oh, wait. they A load ro routed. Oh, it's time to go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Get up here. 
Go, 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 go. Kill this goddamn fool. Rally one last time because I think you're going to die. Orakai infantry, get in there. Berserkers, let's get you around this side and we'll charge them in the back. Oh, so many are outing. Let's go. Oh. Go, go, go. So who's not... It's just this general's bodyguard, is it? See, everyone else is routing. So Berserkers, you get up there. And well, who else have we got? You guys, I oh, need you to chase them down. Because otherwise they will come back. <gasps> How many has died? Yes! Come on! <sighs> but we need to kill that general, don't we? So, we need you guys to chase this general's bodyguard. Let's chase him. And that's another general's bodyguard, though. I don't know. Do they have a general still in the unit? No, these guys' general's dead. I believe there is still one in this unit, though. Is there? There's three generals. Yeah, he's there, look. So, who else do I have? Well, I've got these guys chasing them. You guys need to come. You singular boy -o. I'm going to chase them off the map anyway. Get there, get there, boys. Slow it down so I don't miss them. I need you to go after them. Kill that general, please. To need to just stay ahead of him. Come on. Come on. Join the chase. Yes, come on. Kill him. Kill him. No, why have you slowed? You fools! No! No, I don't think we've taken it then. I don't think we've taken it. I should have left him on the side so that he didn't chase them. Oh, I, I, I just don't... I don't think we've taken it. There's the other general up here, but I'm pretty sure that's a dead unit. Yeah, I don't think they've got a general in there. Oh, that's gooding, because that was such a brutal battle. Well, if he's only got, like, one general left in there, that's fine. There's all our units left in the army, look. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That is the boy. And I can't believe a Glaricor survived. It's crazy. What a beast. He was just fighting whole units by himself. He is a Nazgul, though. Sorry, not a Nazgul. He is a uh, Black Rider. <sighs> what a brutal, brutal battle. Nazkai 177, Orukai Infantry 226. Everyone just doing their part, really. Berserkers 368, 214, 242 for the World Marauders, which... <sighs> some big stats there, really big stats. Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, oh, I don't think we've taken it then. And there's still that goddamn captain nearby. But maybe if they have little enough, we'll be able to auto-resolve it. Just to uh, to make sure it goes through. And make sure we don't get attacked. We shall see anyway. We shall see. But what an epic battle to start. Um, what an epic battle to start this final episode. Absolutely epic. Very cool indeed. Hmm. Yes. It's cool. Very cool indeed. The orcs. But no, they're dead. No! I will execute them. The other steward of Gondor's dead. Oh, okay! Fantastic! Gondor is dead, my friends. 
Gondor is dead, and they've replaced them with a load of cell swords, and we're stuck. <laughs> Gondor is dead. Oh, glorious, glorious! We have destroyed the fell fools of Gondor. I don't care about Saruman. Let's end the turn. Oh. Fantastic. Fantastic. So finally. Finally our plans have been realised. The death of Gondor. But that's interesting. They still had a general. Maybe he wasn't a family member. Probably just a general rather than a family member. That's probably why we managed to regicide them. Oh, but it's nice. It's so, so, so nice to see. Um, and I'm honestly thinking about maybe capping it up there. Just archers, eh? Um, do we fight this? I mean, I think we do. I know it's tiny. Well, Kirith Ungol, I like Kirith Ungol. I don't want to lose Kirith Ungol as the last thing we do, but we might still lose it. But as we've seen, these goddamn uh, pikemen can just hold the line forever. Pretty much ever. No, we don't want to stay on we don't want to be on the walls. What do they have? They have a ram, so. Mount. So let's get there. Get there, boyos. Is that a tower? No. I wish there was towers on the. Oh, there is towers. They're firing yet? Do they fire? They should fire, shouldn't they? Can we get even closer? Oh, they're going to fire on these boys. Let's get them back up. I don't want to lose many of them. We lost a load. I'm hoping they'll just charge now. And if they do, they won't be able to fire on my troops anymore. Get over there. Yep, now they charge. So let's bring these boys back. Run. Stick with your spear wall, boys. Now it's just a grind fest. God damn it, they're firing through. Let's get there. That's a weird place for them to fire. I don't think they'll be able to fire this way. They still can. God damn it. Got them archers. Don't think that's really doing much damage now. It's probably worth keeping them closer. We killed their general. Yes, we have. They're all already shaken. Decent. God damn. There's nowhere good to put these guys. I mean, I think those guys have got it, so let's just get away for a second. I do want them close to be able to uh, react, though. If anything, what about there? Losing so many of them in this. Why don't you just charge? They shouldn't fire if we charge them. Get them. They shouldn't be able to fire too much now. They're shooting into their own men so much. Come on, get those. Oh, what is that sound? Not heard that before. Kill them all, for God's sake. Yeah, what is that sound? Oh, 
Really? Oh, I guess the halberds are coming in. Oh, there was halberds as well. I didn't realize that. Oh, we can probably break them, though. We've killed their general already. It's going to be tight again. It's going to be really tight. Again, we don't need to kill them all. We just need to break them. Yeah, come on. Do some damage. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Do some damage. Our enemy has command of the castle. Kill them. Wait, wait, where have those halberds gone? What? Well, let's just go here then. Everyone get there. A lot have died. Let's make sure we get back in the castle square within four minutes. Right, now kill them. Come on, kill them. Pikes are stronger than the goddamn halberds. So let's go. Come on. Ah. It's just not going to be enough, is it? Unless they break now. Yeah, it's, it's not quite enough. Unless we charge them in the back. Go on, boys. Charge them in the back. Give them a charge. They'll never for forget. Ah, uh, no. That's us done. This is done, unfortunately. Break them! Break them! <laughs> our six, our four men, break them! Ah, oh, them getting through the gate just ruined everything for us. Oh well. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore, does it? We're fine. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Kirithungal will be easy to take again. If we were going to take it again. They're still shaken. I don't know why they're shaken. They're literally fighting a foe much, much smaller than themselves. They're going to die. Yep. Oh, what fools. They lost so many troops. I didn't realize they had those halberds out there. I think we're going to probably end the series there, guys. We'll have a look at the uh, Fog of War, see how everyone did, and we'll look at the uh, faction rankings. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll conclude it there, I think. It's been a, been a good run. It's been a good run. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. It's been very good fun. I mean, as everyone knows, I love this mod. It's so good. Hopefully, we'll do another campaign on it at some point. There is currently a poll on the channel for what uh, campaign you guys want to see. So, do check that out. I think we'll win that. Ah, oh, well, we traded Kirith Ungol for uh, Osgiliath, which is fine. <laughs> it's a pretty good trade, to be honest. Yeah, pretty good. I just want to see what Bree's been up to. What boys? I love, I fucking love Bree. They're so good. Such a good, good nation. So fun to play. Yeah, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? At least uh, a Glaricor survived with his single, a single man. But we destroyed Gondor in the pro process, so... Except that, Lebanon has fallen, we know. Mistrand is besieged. Oh, okay. So it looks like Rune has a... Uh... Chop them to pieces. So let's have a look at the end turn. 
So we are actually first financial, first production, first population, first overall, but third military, and that's Clans of Enderwyth that's now the top military, or has been the top military for a long, long time. So, Kirith Ungol was sacked. I mean, they just sacked their own fort, really. So, dumb of them. Really dumb of them. Anyway, guys, let's take in our empire. We come all the way to the west to Tharagrondost. Across the plains of Gondor to Dol Amroth, the jewel in the crown of the princedoms of Gondor that we have taken ourselves. They're, they're actually attacking it now, which is funny. All the way across the plains, pretty much uh, married up our lands, all the way to the Anduin to Pelagir, and soon to be Fanwilond to the mouth of the Anduin. We've come all this way. To Minas Morgul and Kirith Ungol and the Black Gate, which we are sieging down. Let's just... Uh... Oh, oh no! Angmar! As if he lost that, we sh like we should have won that easy. As if that, as if the AI, as if the uh, AI said that we lost that. Whatever. I just wanted to have Moran on in our uh, grasp, but. Uh, alas, it was not to be. To care Andros to the Anduin. We are the undisputed masters of the Anduin, really, I would say. We control this whole bank. Uh, we also control Southern Mirkwood, all the way up to Austin Gale and Brown Boat, on the border with a new Dale. Um, we also come to Khazadum, to both Khazadums, where we have united and rebuilt the great cities, ready for Uruk infestation. Bree has taken Goblin Town now. Wow. Wow. Bree. I am proud of you. I'm not going to lie. I don't care that you're a good faction. I'm very happy with you. And, of course, the plains of Rohan have been subdued and returned to true Uruk territory. Lurtz's rest has been taken. Lim here. We have just, we have just ruined a lot of nations and really asserted our authority upon Middle-earth. And this authority will continue. As long as Saruman survives. Uh, this authority will continue for many years to come. So let's have a look at... Obviously the Dark Lord hates us. Because we're fighting him. But uh, let's have a look at the faction rankings. Let's go with... Um, do we want all... The top five we could say. So top five are the Dwarves of Ered Lewin, actually. Wow. Uh, can't, it's hard to tell which is which. Dale. Um, Mordor, I'm guessing. No, we'll put Mordor in there. Who is... Oh, the Black's us. <laughs> of course. Ened Wythe, of course. Um, uh, Bree? Stick Bree in there. They look like they're, they're uh, on the up. Who else is in there? Oh, that's the Veil of Dorwinian. Remnants of Angmar? No. The Dwarves of Eridluin are the blue. Dale is that blue. That's us. That's Enedwife. That must be Mordor. Yeah, and that's the uh, Dwarves of Eridluin. Ah, so. Let's have a look at how we've done. We are overall the best currently. Militarily wise, we're very close. Is that... No, so uh, that's us. We've come down a bit recently, but Ended Wife has reached the top. Dale is also very high. Darwinian, all these. Let's have a look. We'll put in um, some of our rivals in that we've had. Yeah, so we can see how we fought them. So, like, where's Dol Amroth? Not Dol Amroth, Dol Gador. Yeah, Dol Gador was good until we met them, and then bang! <laughs> they are gone. Um... Our, our name are doing well. Nice. But yeah, you can see we're yeah, pretty close to the top. Only third, but production-wise, we've been pretty high the whole way through, as you can see. But we've been just on another level since about turn 110 or so. Pretty nice. Uh, Dale or Edward Willowin are both doing well, and Edwyth as well. Territorially, we are the undisputed masters of the territories. Have more than double anyone else. Which is fantastic. Really good to see. 
got about close to 50 regions, which would have uh, got the victory conditions. Um, because we've already eliminated to Rohan, Realm of Lothlorien. Oblock, Death, Isengard, and Lurtz's Rest, which we have. So we should have really pushed for 50, but I didn't really check. And then financial-wise, we were trash, and now we're good. Population, we just have so much more than anyone else. Even Mordor. Mordor is reducing. Ended wife straight up. Breeze straight up. So a lot of fa factions coming up, but us a lot more. And overall, of course, so much better. So let's... Um Let's uh, toggle that fog of war. Here we are. And let's uh, see how some of these other factions have been doing. And you can see on the mini-map... So Mordor... Mordor hasn't done well, really. They have been contained to this area. And we would have contained them more. If I if I fought this battle with a Witch King... Um, he does does have Nazkai, right? Yeah. I was going to say, there's not really much point in seeing the Witch King on the battle map. Uh, he just has Nazkai. If he had a unique unit, which that would be better, then uh, it would be great to see him. But, no. So Mordor's been contained, and they really don't have much left. They're pretty poor, honestly. They're pretty not great. Let's look down south. So the Variags of Khan have done decently. They've managed to, you know, come across. They're at Tirithoros. They're probably going to take Famulon before we would. Um, but they've done a decent job. Harad has done fine. But the problem for Harad is they got blocked in. So you can see they just have all their armies just over here. And that's probably why it took so long to break down Gondor and Dol Amroth. Because Harad couldn't bring... Look at how many full stacks they have. One, two, three, four, four, probably five with those two combined. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, probably 11. So 11 full stacks in this vicinity that could have been used to fight Gondor. <laughs> and they were not used. So Harad's kind of just been blocked in. They also didn't get Ankaragmir for the Muma kill. So Harad's really had a sad boy game, really. Not Poggers at all. Um, the Ar Ardunaim have done okay. They've done pretty decently to Lim here. They're up to Lim here already and they will probably flood through and they probably would declare war on us very soon. So that would be a big war for us to deal with. But you can see the just swath of our territory is we are dominant in this middle portion. Let's have a look at the rune. Rune has really been decimated as you can see. Mistrand is already un is under siege from uh, the dwarves. Um, uh, the dwarves of the Iron Hills. Uh, the Dwarves of Erebor, should I say. Even though they don't have Erebor anymore. Um, yeah. That, we, we renamed it Urukor, if you remember. When Saruman went and took the ring off them. They have Mataram, Mistrand, and Lest. And that's all they have left apart from Offlabed, which is just fighting hard against the Vale of Dorwinian. Our evil buddies. So the Vale of Dorwinian, they've done okay. They, they, they've not done amazing. But I can't say they've done badly either. They've managed to survive, which is one thing. You know, generally they they might get they could get squished because they declared war on Dale as well. So they have been at war between two different factions. So well done to them for surviving. Uh, they just need to clean up Mistran, uh, Lest, and uh, Othlabed to have a nice contiguous border. Uh, that would be pretty good for them. The Dwarves of uh, Erebor. They have done not great. I mean, they've lost Erebor, which is now renamed Urakor. Uh, which is pretty trash, honestly. <laughs> they still have Anazanar, and they're going after Dane's Halls, but they've not done well. Dale, on the other hand, has done decent, especially for the AI. If I wasn't here, they would have done so much better as well. They probably would have the whole of Mirkwood. Um, so they've done a really good job to get down, down here. They don't have a lot of troops in the vicinity either. But I'm assuming they're fighting Dorwinian. Well, they're, yeah, they're fighting Darwinian in a few places. So, they've done decently. And they're also fighting over here, as you can see. At Rakyaburg towards Dane's Halls. Uh, and Withybord. So, Dale, I would say, has done well. They've taken the Burka. So, well done, Dale. Well done. Pretty decent. Pretty decent, I'd say. So, the Anduin Vale. The other Vale. I mean... 
can't say they've done well. They 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 have expanded. And honestly, the only reason why they've been able to expand is because we destroyed Dolgador really early. And well not really early, but reasonably early. Mid game. But the Woodland Realm have, as usual, done absolutely nothing. And I don't know whether there's some way to prompt them into action, but I'm pretty sure every single game I've ever played, when I'm not playing them, and not in direct co um, contest with them, they, they just do this. This is all they do. And these armies, bro, they're elven armies. Like, these full stacks, these full stacks they have are so strong against any enemy that they're going to face around this area that it's just criminal that they do nothing. <laughs> they just sit there doing nothing. Well, I'm glad they didn't attack us, to be honest, but they do, do sit there doing nothing. So the Orcs of Gundabad have survived. That's pretty much all I can say about them. They've not been, uh, they've not been amazing, and they're probably going to die, honestly, soon. You can see they don't have many troops. They're, all their troops are in Dane's Halls. And uh, with Dane's Hall were to fall, they've got nothing left, really. I've got nothing left. <laughs> they've got absolutely nothing left. Similar to the uh, Goblins of Moria. Obviously, a big part of that was us destroying Khazad-dûm. But they have two settlements. They have Emon and Erod and Maithleberg because they just lost Goblin Town to the Bree Boys, <laughs> which is amazing to me. Well done, Bree. So Dunland, Dunland has also survived, which has been very surprising because Dunlarak has honestly, I've been getting messages about Dunlarak being under siege for 40 turns and they just can't seem to take it, Enidwyth. Well, let's, uh, speaking of Enidwyth, let us have a look at Enidwyth. Uh, the strongest military nation on Middle Earth right now. They honestly, I think, I think they've not used it to their advantage though. Like, why have they not attacked anyone? Doesn't seem like they're at war with anyone right now. So, apart from Dunland, they've pretty much just expanded to all the rebel territories and and that's it. So, and they made a lot of trade it looks like. So, well done to that, making a lot of money. But they've not really expanded. So, that's a bit of a shame. The... Uh, Dunedain, Dunedain, they have survived, not particularly, I mean, not particularly badly, actually, they still have a Numenas and Fornos Terrain, which is decent, it's a decent, uh, decent effort, honestly, decent effort to keep those, um, and they got Brunost, Fenestrunin, and Terthuin, or maybe Enidwyth is at war with them, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, Fenestrunin, Terthuin, yeah, They've not really done much, have they? They've not even taken Ammon and Erod. Same thing with the uh, High Elves. They've taken Zagkala, and that's absolutely it. They had to wait for the Bree to come and take Goblin Town. How embarrassing. <laughs> How embarrassing, High Elves. Elrond's still alive, though. Is Aragorn alive? Let's have a look. Not there. Oh, no. Aragorn. Don't tell me Aragorn is dead. Durdir. Mainon. Million. Let's have a look. No. Fornos Terrain. No. It looks like Aragorn is dead. So. Unfortunate for uh, all Aragorn fans out there. Aragorn is dead. Oh, well. That's probably why they haven't done anything. But the High Elves, as you can see, just three realms over here. Zag Calor and Landris. So, really not doing anything once again. The Elves are the least active, I would say, out of all the factions. Angmar was... Remember, we saw... Uh, Angmar was all the way out to here at one point. But they have slowly been pushed back by the Dwarves of Ered Luin. And it's the best I've seen the Ered Luin do for a while. Normally, they're slow off the mark, but when they get going, as you can see, they become quite strong. So they've really, really put the hammer down on it, Angmar, and well done to them. They've done a really good job. Only a few more settlements to mop up, and they will be ascendant across the northern parts of Middle-earth. So well done. Now let's look at the 
Boyos, the real Boyos, the Bree, taking Goblin Town, taking Kamath Bryn. Some big armies out there. Look at this. Brathor's still alive from the start. That's pretty good. Brathor's still alive. That is no, that is really good actually. They of course Osul. Osul is very upgraded now. Koloniak. How is Bree doing? Bree's doing well. Let's see whether uh, Bilbo is still alive. Longbottom. Big armies. They've got a lot of big armies. They've got a lot of territory. And they've done really well, honestly. Normally, they, they take a bit of a hammering. Even down to Karas Nurnaled. But they've done excellent. I, I'm glad to see it. Well done. Smashing through Kamath Bryn into Goblin Town. And they're about to uh, take Maithleberg looking at it. Then I think they would probably go north to Framsburg. And take the Gundabad. In combination with the Ered Luin taking them. So... Overall, it kind of looks like the good factions are winning, apart from us, obviously. But that is definitely helped by the fact that all the bad factions are fighting each other with us taking the ring. So, yeah. Cool. Um, anyone else? I mean, Ered Lewin, of course, we've seen is, is massive. You can see them on the minimap. Don't really need to go over their territory because it's all quite spread out. But they've done a really good job. Ah, well. Very good. Very good. And here we are back at Isengard. Well, guys, if you remember those first few episodes so very long ago, we had some trouble fighting Rohan. It was a struggle. But uh, finally, we started from the bottom, and now we are here. <laughs> so we have finally got to the end, and uh, we've done what we set out to do. We've destroyed Gondor. Mordor's still on the run, but they're very, very close to being destroyed now. And our eastern, our border on uh, the west is actually pretty protected. I wouldn't be worried about that. So once we'd have destroyed uh, Mordor, there's pretty much nothing else for us to do. We would be so ascendant at that point that it wouldn't matter. And we are at that point already. We are just so ascendant. Um, so so powerful now that it really doesn't matter much uh, whether we continued or not. We just uh, swoop everyone in our path. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I really had fun making this series. I do have that poll on the channel at the minute, so if you want to uh, have your say on what the next Let's Play will be, DAC is one of the options there, so go and vote for that or one of the other options. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again on another video.